So the latest One UI 5.1 update is now rolling out for the Galaxy Note 20 Ultra. And you guys are gonna absolutely love this update because it brings new features from the brand new S23 Ultra. So without wasting any time, let's start the video right away. Alright, so first off, they've added a brand new battery widget and this shows you the level of charge in your phone as well as your connected devices. So right now, we've got a Bluetooth headset connected to the phone and it is showing us the level of charge in both the phone as well as the Bluetooth headset. So this is a nice addition, you don't have to go to the Bluetooth settings just to see the level of charge in your headset. And you can find this widget in the widget picker, it's inside the battery tab. You know what, there are actually two of them. They both do the same thing, the only difference is in the design. They've also added a new feature to the gallery. So when you open a photo and swipe up, the gallery will now show you the EXIF information such as the camera model and the settings used to take the photo. Previously, it only used to show you the date. They've also made some improvements to the remaster photo feature. It can now remove shadows and reflections from photos and can even enhance GIFs. You know what? Let's actually test this feature out. So here we've got a photo with a strong shadow. So now let's select the remaster photo option and see if it's able to do what the description says. And just to see the difference, I'm doing this on both One UI 5.1 and 4.1. And there you go it does actually remove the shadows and it did not remove on One UI 4.1. So definitely some improvement here. Now you've still got the shadow eraser tool on One UI 4.1. You just have to go into the image editor, then tap on these three dots, select object eraser tool and finally tap on erase shadows. So they have just integrated this feature into the remaster photo option. Now moving on to the camera, first let's switch to the selfie cam. Okay, so the first change here is that the selfie color tone toggle is inside this button and you can see it's right over here. And this setting allows you to tweak the white balance of your selfies. So you can either select the original, cool or warm. It is the exact same thing that you will find on One UI 4.1 but instead of this being in the camera settings, they have moved it to the main camera UI. Another minor change to the camera is that now you can find the expert raw mode in the more tab in the main camera itself. Now keep in mind that expert raw is a completely separate app that you will need to download from the Galaxy Store. So as I've shown you, it takes you to the Galaxy Store from where you can download this. And there you go, this is the expert raw app. In one of my previous videos, I demonstrated the brand new gesture that is, if you swipe from the edge of the screen, that will activate the pop-up view mode. And this was introduced with One UI 5. Now, One UI 5.1 further improves on this and now you can swipe back to the corner like this to make the app run in full screen. So as you can see, the app is back to normal. And you can't do this with the previous version. You can see swiping to the edge does not work. So this is brand new. One more gesture that you can do is swipe up with two fingers from the bottom of the screen to open the split view mode. Now one small change here is that the phone now shows you a list of most used apps. And guys keep in mind for these to work, you must enable gestures by going into the settings and then advanced features here tap on labs and enable swipe for pop-up view and swipe for split screen one ui 5.1 now allows you to change the location of the screenshots and the screen recordings all you have to do is go to settings and then advanced features here tap on screenshots and screen recorder and here you will see a new option that lets you change the location where the screenshots and screen recordings are saved now if you head on into the settings and then go to modes and routines you will notice that now you can set your own wallpaper for different modes so as an example if we go to the sleep mode and then scroll down you will see an option that lets you set a custom wallpaper for this particular mode. And whenever the mode gets activated, the wallpaper will also change to the one that you have set. 
so a slightly darker wallpaper for sleep mode is always nice. And obviously you can set a different wallpaper for all of these modes to suit the situation. And I don't think I need to explain what this feature does because I have already done that in the One UI 5 video. Next up, the weather app has also seen a slight redesign. So let's tap on the widget to open the app. Okay, so first off, you've got this text up here that describes the weather. Really nice. And the temperature graph also now changes color to show you the changing temperature throughout the day. And if it's raining, it's gonna show you a cute little bar graph. And lastly, I also noticed that there are now suggestions in the settings. You can see that the phone is auto-suggesting some stuff here like sync, gallery to OneDrive, etc, etc. And yeah, that is pretty much all there is to it when it comes to One UI 5.1. It's not a major update, it only brings minor improvements to the UI. So with that, I guess that brings us to the end of the video. Thank you for watching. I know I've left out a couple of features because I feel that the ones I've covered are the major ones that you will notice and use the most. And it goes without saying, if you have enjoyed, make sure to mash that like button because it helps out a lot and subscribe to the channel if you like what you see. And I will see you guys in the next video. Tech Guy Charlie signing off.